Hey there. So um, this is an introductory video to kind of just let you know what I want you to do for this module. So this has a different order than usual. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to read the reading. Then I want you to do the group writing assignment, which is going to be based on your reading. Then I want you to look, listen to the lecture. Then I want you to perform your short writing and then your exit ticket. So it's a little different order. So some caveats in the vein of a trigger warning. Um, we're going to be talking about very aggressive magic that is often considered black magic. And by Indians, they use the word black magic for this. In these magic rituals, they will be to kill people and seduce people. There will be lots of discussions of sexual fluids and sexual things. Um, this is the nature of religion. And India, and in fact, the whole world is not as deodorized and sanitized as our contemporary world. So these are some of the things that we look at. And religious studies. So the reading is pretty brief, but the lecture is quite detailed and it's on the, it's on the longer side, but you don't have that much reading for, for today, really. Um, and then what I wanted to tell you is that this is actually an adaptation of an encyclopedia article that uh, I wrote relatively recently and I wanted to give it a try of presenting its information. It is, as you can see, a con very condensed, tightened version of a longer chunk of a bigger piece of work that's coming out of my dissertation dissertation that will become a monograph later. This is new and unique material. This isn't written about anywhere. This is, there is nothing here that has been pulled out of secondary sources. This is all based on primary tantric texts that I've translated out of Sanskrit, some out of Hindi. Um, what I want you to think about though for a second is the key to thinking about magic and thinking about ritual in general is imagination. You have to, to really understand these these things, if you're reading the text, you have to imagine yourself in there. You have to see, okay, all right, if I was the operator, how would I do this? How would I get this together? And as you work through the details of the ritual, sort of it tells you more about the meaning of the ritual and what's going on in the ritual and what the ritual is really about. So open your religious ritual imagination to think through uh, what some of these rituals are like. And it asks greater questions like, well, what is magic? You know, if it, it, here magic is just, it's something that happens based on a ritual power. It's, there's no adjective of magical. There are, um, there are no magic. There are no magical powers. There are no superpowers here. It's really, you do the ritual, that's it. It's a little different from Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange sometimes does a ritual and it's a discreet thing, but usually he is actually operating out of magic powers that he, supposedly gained through his magic rituals. Intriguingly, if you look to the movie Doctor Strange, when he is in Nepal, he's actually in Nepal, and I know those streets quite well, and a lot of the books that he reads are written in a very special ne sort of Nepalese script called Nawari. I was pleased to, to see it because I've worked with that script on a number of Sanskrit uh, uh, texts over the years. This material is ripe for comparison. It has not come into, and I hope to bring it into, the greater discussion of magic in the world um, and the world of scholarship. There's been a lot of work done on Latin grimoires or dark evil books, grimoire from the word grammaire, uh, like a grammar book. So a grammar of ritual is a grimoire. And in like the Hellenistic world of Greek, Egyptian, and Hebrew texts, but none of that has been put into conversation with this Indian material. So it's ripe, it's ripe, and it needs to come into sort of the conversation about what is magic, what is religion, what is ritual, and how do these types of pragmatic short rituals uh, influence sort of what we think more widely about ritual and magic. Um, so once again, those caveats are: there's going to be a lot of sex, there's going to be a lot of death. There's gonna be a lot of sexual fluids. Um, there's gonna be a lot happening. So steel yourself against it if you are afraid of black magic. Um, but don't worry, I am truly not advancing that we should all start practicing black magic. And I will note that the American traditions of aggressive magical practices like this, well, one, they're predominantly found in hoodoo, which is an African, is, is like an African-American sort of sort of folk Christian practices. Um, this, I'm not advancing some sort of dark, satanic, majestic underground that doesn't exist, as I said before, or I would have found it by now. These are not the rituals of, of Satanists, pedophiles, uh, human traffickers, or reptilians, uh, which I feel it's important for me to say at this point. So again, what I want you to do is I want you to read the text I signed. I want you to do the group writing. Then, only after you've done the group writing, do I want you to watch the lecture. Then I want you to do your short writing and your exit ticket. All right, have fun with it. I will see you next time.